During my month-long stay at the Residencia 821, I chose to work on my Rorschach paintings, and I utilized everything that I can possibly pick up to create marks. So I'll use disposable razors, sticks that I find outside, windshield wipers, corks, bottle caps. I call these works Rorschach paintings because they start off totally abstract ink splatters, various marks, thick pockets of paint. And I look at them and I find figurative imagery. So I start to see people, animals, trees, no matter what it is. And for this project, I was curious about what other people would see. I think that our mood and our previous memories and experiences determine what our imagination conjures in art. So I asked some people I didn't know, they were off the street, and I also had people that I did know come in and just share with me what their unique imaginations conjured. Well, do you see the cobra head though here? Right here to... I, I think so, is it kind of, sh like this is the head, right? And it's, kind, whole, of, it's kind of striking. Oh, right. The whole thing is okay. here, and like his body would be down here, but his head and his eyes would be up here and his tongue would come out there. And this looks like water coming down and splashing out. Right. Um, but when you come back, when you step back from it, it, it looks, this looks like, you know, something does look like clan masses. You know, like these look like little islands, maybe. So it's like the inside of a cave that's very fiery. This would be like, kind of like a ramp going up this way. And there's just flames over here. I don't really see any depth over here. And this white space right here looks like some kind of a portal or something. And then there's just flames and chaos everywhere else. And it seems like the top of the cave in here. I see this many ways. Uh, one way, which I mentioned earlier, it looks like a forest fire from a helicopter view where all of these are trees just bursting into flames and flames are all worried, spinning through this. Uh, right. Another thing I can see in another way, totally different way, as an animate object, like a, a bull's head, where this is, this is the chin and this is one of the horns coming out, their eyes, it's like a three-eyed bull, three eyes. Right. Naturally, not everybody's interpretation of the artwork was captured on video, but some of the in-person interpretations include two serpents coiling around one another in a figure eight, dancers, ships moving across the sea, eyes, a gopher, and lastly, a place in the mind where one can find peace from the aggression of the world. This was the best and most fascinating part of the project was seeing how different perspective is. Thank you for watching.